What is going on guys? ChumpJNJXD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today in this video, we need to clean this monstrosity of a mess. And you guys will see that all clean in just a second. We got to prepare for the solar move, as you guys may know. If you don't, link will be right here. I actually dropped a video talking about it the other day. And this box right here was sent over to us from Nerd Gears. I think this is one of their 30 amp PDUs that are actually metered so I cannot wait to open this thing up. This is what we're going to be setting up in the basement It should be perfect for what we need down here for testing and all that stuff when we get ASIC reviews and all that Now I explained in the other video that I was going to be running either a 240 volt line in the ceiling here all the way across to the workbench area to get a 240 volt plug here if I'm going to be doing like reviews and stuff on this bench, right? That's kind of why I never finished this uh area here because I really haven't decided what I actually wanted to do. I knew I was going to have to get back in this corner so that's why I left it unfinished. My panels over there as you guys may know from the other day I was either going to come from there 240 volt over here and come down in this wall or I mean like we talked about yesterday coming through the ceiling here and going down in that wall as well to uh, just get me an outlet so we could again do some testing over there but I may be changing that I'm not really 100% sure on what we're going to do I was actually contemplating if I wanted to get just an outlet in here once I get this all set up and maybe have a workbench here with the PDU right here kind of in the mechanical room area because realistically we're going to be running off of solar and i think that might be a better idea but we could talk about that in just a second so just before you guys see this all cleaned up let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor crypto miner bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs founded in 2018 this company specializes in top quality asic miners from brands like bitmain gold shell and many others whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust CryptoMiner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. And just like that, the mess is gone. Everything is cleaned up, except for that box. I'm going to get that out to the uh, solar shed. But everything else is nice, and this wall is completely accessible. I actually even cleaned my toolbox. Look at that. Got all the batteries up there, nice and wiped down. And you know what? I actually voted against taking this and moving it over here. I just don't think it's really necessary, to be honest, because uh, that spot is like I have a sprinkler system here this is like a 350 gallon tank right that kind of just holds all the water and then there's a pump the switch on the wall and there's a pump back there going up to the uh orange sprinkler pipes that basically go throughout my house right i got one right here if you can kind of see it and they're actually all over my basement and first floor second floor attic everywhere so that's right there it's kind of like a perfect spot because this tank actually sticks out a bit more and uh yeah it just kind of nestles right in there so i think i'm gonna leave that there I'm going to end up putting, I think, a little workbench on the left side here. Probably, you know, I might, might just use a folding table, to be honest. I might not even build anything. And I might do the uh, PDU right here. That way I could do all the ASIC testing and all that inside this little mechanical room area. And if we do any live streams working on stuff, we'll do that out there in the uh, actual studio part, right? I think that's the best way to do it. And I'll have to set up another light up here. But what my plan is here for the solar stuff is to get the batteries, like I said, nice and like nestled right in here it's going to fit perfectly that whole cabinet six batteries and the plus side of this is i could most likely end up turning the unit so the face of the batteries will be here and i could actually get two cabinets side by side if i ever expanded to getting like another six batteries so that would be a huge plus but as far as everything else solar goes Right here, I was thinking about doing the inverters. Basically, the same style I have now, one on the top and one on the bottom, I think. I haven't fully decided on that. It's either going to be top and bottom or left and right, nice and tight, and then the panel to the left of that. But I think I'm going to do top and bottom because I would like to get it a piece of plywood, like a nice piece of plywood, over across the face of this uh, support post right here that's holding up the, you know, the main beam to the house. I'm actually probably going to fur this out about another inch and a half so it's thicker than this pole, right? And I can have, again, the plywood come straight over it. And I can use this point right here as a nice um, 
access point to get to the battery so I could just drill perfect holes here and have everything literally just get hidden behind this little corner into the battery cabinet. I think that will be epic if I'm able to do that and make it look perfect. So I think I'm going to do plywood. I was debating between plywood and sheetrock. I don't think sheetrock's a good idea because then plywood, I'm not going to give a shit about just screwing everything to it, right? Um, the only thing I'm going to have to do is probably move this outlet. I'll probably end up moving it down because, actually, you know what? Uh, where's the feed come in? Oh, the feed's right here. So I have to actually move this. That's right. I use that as a splice box. So I'll probably have to keep that 120 volt outlet there. And that's going to run off grid. So I just got to keep that in mind. And I'm end up going to end up um, putting another uh, 240 volt outlet here that we could plug the Nerd Gears PDU in. And then the bench or the table or whatever I end up doing here will uh, work perfectly for what I need. So I cannot wait to do this. Obviously, I have to go to Home Depot and get a whole nother piece of plywood or figure out what I want to do there and then um, I really didn't end up dragging too much shit into here just like my signs I got my pack and peanut boxes here I got an Octominer X8 that I can't decide if I actually want to sell because this thing is still minty it is like I barely used it literally just about brand new just chilling um, I am packing up some other GPUs Got to get these all wrapped up for uh, somebody who just bought five of these A2000s. Again, if you guys are interested in GPUs, feel free to reach out. But, yeah, I think I decided against doing the uh, 240 volt over here. I don't think it's necessary. I would rather just have the 120 over here. We can use that bench for live streaming. The working on stuff will actually be out in the, uh, you know, the mechanical room here. Now, carrying over this Nerd Gears PDU because I want to open this thing up and see uh, what it's all about. So give me a second, let me cut this guy open and let's check it out. All right, Nerd Gears 30 amp, 240 volt metered PDU. I think this thing's like 150 bucks, but depending on what it looks like, or what I've seen anyways, this thing looks totally worth it. Where's the meter? Ah, there it is. All right, let me get this plastic off here. See if I can do this with one hand and a foot. Ah, oh, this thing's sick. I like how it's kind of small too. Dude, this is really nice. Oh wow, it's even got a breaker on it. I don't know why I didn't even notice there was an actual breaker on this PDU. That is freaking sick. So there's the drock meter right there. That looks amazing. Nerd Gears branded, hell yeah. If you guys are interested in this PDU, I will leave a link down in the pinned comment below go check it out that is freaking sweet it's got the c20 and the c14 plugs right there oh are these what these are locks dude that's badass they got locks on the freaking outlets to hold the cable in that's sick all right so plan is i know i need a light sorry for the shadows but once i do the wall here and i get the the panel like here ish right we'll end up putting this guy like right here on the wall actually i'll probably have to do it sideways so i can read the drock meter and i think that's backwards i think it's gonna be like this because if i'm not mistaken that little dot right there on the drock meter can you guys see it see the dot right there it's like a reset button that thing is typically to the right so you can read this thing uh properly so yeah i'll probably end up mounting it like i don't know somewhere like here ish right that way it's kind of like eye level and we can uh, plug into it easily and get stuff right down to the bench. Dude, this thing's sick. Nerd Gears, thank you so much for sending this thing over. This thing is freaking awesome. The cord is plenty long. Looks like it's probably six feet. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's the uh, whatever those round outlets are. I forget like LR30 or something. I forget what they are, but it's for those outlets right there. So that's freaking sweet. All I got to do is rewire it and get me get me an outlet to plug that thing into. I'm excited. This is going to be sweet. I can't wait. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Sheetrock or plywood? I'm thinking plywood. Should I paint it? Maybe black so it's not really noticeable. I don't know. That might be weird, though. Might close this place in a little bit. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It's either that or I could just do sheetrock and paint that black because once I hang things on it, it's really just going to stay like that. And I actually have the sheetrock already, too. So that might be... Uh, Hmm, maybe I do that instead. I don't know. I like the plywood idea, but the sheetrock thing, I actually do have like three pieces out in my shed that I saw. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, 
that's gonna do it. I gotta get back to packing up these GPUs so I can get these things shipped out ASAP. And uh, if you guys are interested in GPUs, please feel free, leave me a message or a email or something down below or whatever. I'll leave it in the pinned comment. If you guys are interested, feel free to check out the GPU list. You can see what's left. I gotta package these things up, like I said. But uh, yeah, you guys have a good rest of your day or night and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.